Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I will thank my patrons again and a special thank you to Larry Jones who is my new patron and also to Tim Box who has increased his donations. Thank you Tim. You didn't have to but thank you very much. So uh, I purchased something for Patreon money that's because that's why this video is kind of sponsored by Patreons. Thank you. Um, I have this house in Portugal that I bring you along to when I'm going there and my internet is ever so slightly dodgy. There is a 4G signal but it's not very good. So last time I did a video, I'll see if we can put that up here somewhere. I got a, a satellite dish which is a 4G router and it's a pretty cool one but also in that video in the comments below someone told me that I could get a map of where all the cell towers was and he actually emailed me that sorry I forget the name but it was an awesome map and I could see where my nearest cell mast is and I would like to make a drawing for you in a little bit but um, yeah Today we're going to be looking at a wireless bridge and um, let's just go into why I might think that I need that. The camera shade is right in the middle of that, thank you very much. Hmm. So this is the wireless bridge set that I got. It's from something called Good Story Networks and this is all the data about it. Um, I got this one because it has a thousand megabit connection i don't think it can do that um, i'm actually pretty sure that it cannot do that but just the fact that it has a thousand megabit per second connection well that's not the limitation then but it might be a cheap it, it's it's a cheap set it kind of looks like that but let's see why i need this i was thinking that we could use this side for a little drawing that I'm gonna do. So, Portugal. There. My house is, let's say the house is here. There is one house. There, and there's a bit of a garage. There, something like, I don't know. Am I, well, actually that's, never mind. But that's the house. Then up here, uh, the house. Then this this is uphill, so I don't know if we can if we can kind of draw like uh, it looks like that on topographical maps. But from the house and to the top of the hill, which is up, let's say that's up here. Uh, my house is like the, the the land is like this. We should get another color, blue. Uh, the land is like this, the blue color, and then it. It goes up. Ah, uh, oh, that's wrong. Ah! This is a straight line. It goes up to the top, and I get a few meters up here, and it goes down some. There's more straight lines, but it's a piece of pie. And up here uh, is the top of the mountain. There's a height difference. Here we are at 250 meters. And up here, we are at 302 meters ish, give or take. Um, and this line, ignore that. <clears throat> this is gonna be ever so slightly drawn wrong. But on the other side of the mountain, over here is the nearest mast. Um, it's kind of, it's not far away. Oh, you are out, we are outside of view. <clears throat> There's the mast. From the from the house and to the mast is 1.5 kilometers. That's not a lot uh, with with 4G signals. That's fine. That that's definitely doable. And actually, there's a there's a big road that goes down here. A very big road. But from the top of the land here, I can see that mast over here. So my idea is to on the top of the land put that. Um, that dish it's, it's ever so slightly bigger than real life 
and, and point that at the mast to get 4G or 5G. At the moment, this is only a 4G router, but you know, future might bring other new stuff. Who knows? So, um, but then from the top of the mountain here and to the house is 200 and uh, from, from here to there, there is 250 meters. So from here to there, I would estimate 230 meters. So from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the Wi-Fi down from the top of the mountain. That's the idea. So on the top of the mountain, have the 4G router up there pointing to the antenna and then shooting a Wi-Fi signal down to the house. And that's why we need a wireless bridge because this will do it and it will not interfere too much with anything else. I ordered this for delivery here in Denmark. It actually comes from the US, I believe. I bought it on Amazon. I'll be sure to leave some affiliate links in the description so that I can make good money back if this works at all. Um, I can see that I paid uh, $89 for the set, then shipping and handling was 16.61, then import tax was 26.65, so a total of $133.25. Ouch. Yeah, it's okay. So these are the boxes, you get two of those and you point them towards each other and they make like a network connection and uh, they need power of course so they have these power or ethernet injectors you use that but there is multiple choices that you can do here there is the the back of it so it also has the ip number and this is model a and this is also model a so Mm, it doesn't really say if one of them is the is one end or the other end. I think they are pretty similar. And then you sit at the end here. There is an end that comes off like this. And you can down here set if this is the, an A or the B. And I think it has been set up so that when they arrive in the package, there is one of each. So let's check if I'm right. I actually am. You can see that little micro switch down there. One of them is set as A and the other one is set as B. So I am able to power this through power over ethernet, but it can also take 12 to, there is a manual here. So it can be powered from 12 volt, one amp. And I'm very curious because uh, in one of my previous videos, I took apart a, uh, a hard drive a western digital hard drive and it comes with a power thing so maybe we are lucky and that just fits in there so i was definitely gonna try that see if that will just go in there and do that and it will so that's a one amp 1.5 amp so what else is in the box well there is actually a nice little leaflet here in english um which is much appreciated and it's it's tells us here that the the a and the b and the a is master mode and the b is slave mode and there is an explanation that i haven't read yet and you can see that i got this from the from the us because this is uh, it's not an a4 but it's a letter format paper which is kind of amusing over here um and there's a nice drawing down here. We like that. So we can just see how everything is supposed to be set up. So that is nice. I'm going to test this. So I want to bring uh, internet to the back of the yard of my garden uh, to make sure that this works before I, I drag it all the way to Portugal. But um, yeah, we need to, um, to connect internet and that's coming through a router and it's gonna go into the LAN thing. We're gonna, we're gonna surpass this. We're just gonna use the, the 12 volt power supply, I think, instead of, because uh, this, uh, as I got it from the US, it doesn't come with the European converters here. Uh, 
and I really can't be bothered to go look for them. Um, in the other end, at the back of the garden, we're gonna take a laptop and then we're gonna we're gonna power it and then we're gonna see if we can get internet on the laptop in the that's gonna be the slave end. So um, that's gonna be very fun. What else is in the package? We get two uh, yellow cables. They don't seem to be very long. I will estimate a meter. They don't brag about that. And then we get two of these long metal thingies to uh, to mount to mount the antennas so you can mount it like this yeah, or there is uh, screw holes so you can you can use it like that i hope this plastic is uv resistant otherwise it's going to break really fast in the portuguese sun so in portugal up here on the hill there is no power and getting power 230 meters away from the house and up here is going to be a task so my Billion evil idea is to put a pole up there with a solar panel on like a 30 watt solar panel and a battery and uh, That that is gonna power my router at the top of the mountain And if that's not enough, well, we'll add a bigger panel or a bigger battery um, Another idea if this Wi-Fi bridge is a bad idea. I don't know yet. We're gonna try it if, if it works here we're gonna try it in Portugal as well but the other idea would be to um, to convert the signal up on the top of the mountain into a fiber optic cable that I'll then have to dig a little trench into the ground all the way downhill to the house and then have a fiber optic cable coming into the house which would be an awesome video as well but a whole lot of digging and 230 meters of fiber optic cable is also kind of, uh, well, it becomes heavy to ship to Portugal and it's also a little bit expensive, but it's also manageable and would make great videos and fun to try. So, um, but today we're gonna try this setup. We're gonna put the A uh, in here and the B down at the bottom of the garden. Another thing that I want to test is how much power does this actually use? This one says that it, it's um, PoE 24 volts 1 amp. That wouldn't be good. That means that this thing would use 24 watts. I don't think it does that because it can also be powered with 12 volt 1 amp and that's only 12 watts. I don't think it uses that much power at all, but we're going to test that and see if uh, what how much does it use because that's important when we're gonna build this thing on top of the mountain how big is the battery how large are the solar panels how many days without solar will it be able to run that uh, router and the and the wireless bridge the router up here should use about six watts max and um, yeah hopefully this doesn't use uh, too much of course in the daytime when the sun is shining it's not a problem and the sun does shine 300 days a year in portugal so the weather is bloody cold outside but it's um, it's not raining or snowing or anything at the moment so i'm hanging the this the the a unit here master and um, we're just testing here so i'm not gonna fix it up any there is two network ports down here there is land one and there is land two and there is a difference because these are the 1000 megabit ones and in the documentation here it says that there is a 300 m wireless bridge version and there's a thousand m wireless bridge version i have the last one that's because that has a 1000 megabit uh, connector and that's lan port 2. not completely clear what this lan port 1 is really for because it's the LAN port 2 that seems to be doing everything. Might be that there's a tiny switch in here, so if this has signal, it can send the signal out again this way. Eh, never mind. Okay, we need to go into LAN port 2. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, uh, they didn't go out of their way to put the big text on here. It's tiny text. Okay, LAN port 2. Then we need some power. We just happens to have some uh, 
power stations here. This is the Blue Yeti. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure that is going to be able to power that. I'll put, you can put it that way. Get a few centimeters more. This cable is the, is the network cable that I usually use for backing up my data. So it was already ready, so it was very convenient, uh, the, the, the network cable, very convenient to, to use that. I don't know if, how straight it needs to be, but I'm pointing that way. So we'll just go down there in the garden and try and connect the other one. It's bloody cool down here. So that one is almost ready. I uh, just need to power it on. So we need, we need the little one. We could take that one, but it's heavier. This one is lighter. And we are just gonna just gonna test if it works. So we're gonna go into the bottom of the garden down here. <coughs> and someone has been preparing and putting up the other antenna. So now we can put our power station over here. This is a very nice table for well, I spent endless hours down here investigating the inner workings of the opposite sex. So I need my laptop. Um, and oh, I forgot to show on the on the side of this, there is like LEDs to show us what it's doing. So um, yeah, when we power this, oh, that, that reminds me, I'm gonna power this one with this wire. So that is too far away. We need to, get that closer to here yeah we need to get that up there okay I need both hands um, the power station gives out 12 volts up to 8 amps so plenty and then I have a piece of cardboard put on these rocks and an old Hewlett Packard laptop. There. And in there. And power on. So, charging. A little bit output. Yeah, it's taking in 70, 20, 22, 24, 35. Yeah, it's taking in a lot of power. But we also have a network cable. This is an old broken one. So uh, that goes in over here. It, uh, it's just broken because it doesn't. Uh, the little tap isn't there on the network cable. And the laptop is up and running here. I almost charged the battery up. It's at 96%. There is no Wi-Fi available. Oh. I would never have guessed. Guess it's time to turn on the bridge. We're gonna start by turning the bridge up up here where the Blue Yeti is at, so we can power that on. It's powered. And it also lights up on the side here. So we have, we have power, we have LAN, it's transmitting. And down here it says that we are on channel 6. Okay. So we gotta go check the other end if that's also on channel 6. We'll power that up. Oh. Ah. And it says that it's using 5 watts. But it is converting to 220, or from 220 volts into 12 volts. So 5 watts isn't bad. Down here, we just need to turn on the on the DC side. Here, oh, it's it's outputting a lot of wattage. I see that we added a few watts there. So let's see. It's also saying something, and it it's also on channel six. And we get some good Wi-Fi bars. So if I'm not much mistaken, I think we have a link. Let's check. 
We have undefined network, no internet access. Oh, it's cold out here. We have a network, we have a connection, but it's does not have internet. No internet, undefined network. So we have a one gigabit speed, so definitely the connection in the other end is also one gigabit. Uh, and it is transferring data forth and back, so we have access to the other end. And uh, with no internet, well, of course, we're not getting anything. So on the slave mode, um, we are we are in this IP segment, but uh, on the master mode, you take the channel IP and you add 100, and on the slave mode, you add 200. So to communicate with the slave here, we are at 206, like that and then something should pop up and the password should be admin admin or the, the username admin and the password admin 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 and we get in here and this is probably where we might have to con reconfigure some stuff to get it to play nicely but this doesn't matter that much actually I wonder if we can if we can access the other end so if we can access the top one up there 106 yes we can so we do have a connection from one end to the other end so I could probably uh, start messing with that data is going up and down um, I think the issue is why I don't have internet is because we're not running on the same network as my internet is running so I would have to change this to run on Let's just go back to the to the LAN connection here if I change this to one on both ends I think I would uh, be able to do internet I would also have to change the, the default gateway there though Oh, this is cool. Enable radio. So it looks like you can enable disable. So you could turn this off at night if you really wanted to uh, not consume as much power. I think I will just say that this works as we, uh, as I have a good connection to the other end and the internet would be there if I changed the IP setting. I am very curious to uh, what the power consumption is here. But at the moment the laptop is uh, is charging, so let's let's remove that and turn off 220 volts, and it dropped to two watts. I like to see that. That makes me very happy. Two watts is definitely something that we can manage on top of the hill. So awesome. Okay, now it says three watts, two, three, four watts. Just because I plugged that in. Huh. Weird. Okay, I am on the master here and I'm gonna try and change the IP settings to what I use in the house. Um, when I change the master here, I'm gonna lose connection to it probably uh, because then this address is not going to be working anymore so I'm going to be uh, disconnecting the the brands that I'm sitting on um, it does have some DHCP server here and it looks like we could just get automatically um, and turn on DHCP but let's try the manual one first maybe um, I'll get lucky uh, let's see you will be sent back right up okay so we will lose that it's trying to get on did it do it don't think we are we're not getting it so we'll change this one as well to and i need to change the ip number of the laptop as well so we'll do same thing here 
one. There be it. Yes. And that's working on that. So I'll go and change my IP number here. And we'll change that to one. And that one to one. Default, maybe one here as well. Okay. Okay. There. Oh, an IP conflict. Oh yeah, I have picked the same IP number as my NAS. That's that's not good, but apparently something is working as it found an IP conflict. So we'll need to let's see the NAS. That's uh, four. Ooh. Four. So nothing should be there. So did we get internet? Not yet. Do we see our... Oh, we see that one. The other one... Oh. I should have brought a chair down here. Uh, save password. Nah. So far, so good. Oh, I think we have internet now. What do we get? Except for an awful resolution. Oh, so that is Dismo. Okay, that's better. <clears throat> I think we need to run this again. <laughs> the upload speed is is decent. <laughs> Let's go again. Yeah, 50, 60, 70. You can go higher, 80. Do we get 100? We did 120. This is this is good. That is exactly what I want in Portugal. A good upload speed like that would be awesome, but I don't think I can I wouldn't be that lucky. So on the side here it says something about signal strength. So it could be funny to to point it in another direction. See Okay, that didn't do much. Uh, the top one is blinking. It didn't do that before. I guess we are... Yeah. They're not far enough apart to... Uh, to be any problem. Hey, this is... Um, this is working. And something like 2 to 4 watts of power consumption. This is my... Uh, <laughs> bit of uh, backyard off-grid computing right there for you. I'm back in again. It was very cool out there. Looking very much forward to putting this up in Portugal instead, where it's warmer. Um, these worked. Of course, the distance in the, in the garden was like 30 meters. And um, well, in Portugal, I'm gonna try and add 200 meters to that. But I'm also gonna do a bit more of an effort to get them to point towards each other uh, mounting on poles and maybe mounted on the house. So that's cool. If you're a regular viewer and see my uh, other videos, I did a video where I upgraded my NAS and I, I took the hard drive out of a external storage box and that storage box had a power supply and that worked great. This uh, power supply will work great. So I'm, I'm bringing a couple of those to Portugal as, as well. If nothing else, I'll steal the cable for it and use that. So uh, that worked great. And the two to four watts that it apparently uses is great news. That means that 
I can have my internet running at the house and on the hill I'll be using roughly 10 watts. I'm not entirely sure I might be able to get that down even further because the, the G4 router up there is, well, the maximum usage is about six watts. And so maximum and maximum, hopefully I'll end up at something like seven, eight watts. That would be awesome. 12 volts, that would draw less than an amp from a battery. So that would definitely be manageable getting a some kind of a battery up there. Um, would be nice with a lithium ion one, but also a normal car battery with like 60 amp hours or something like that. I could drag that up the hill and put that on a solar panel and it could charge up the battery and use it on the Wi-Fi bridge. The solar panel will supply plenty of power for this and the 4G modem slash router whenever there is sun and it will charge the battery at the same time. So the battery more or less needs to power these for like eight hours every night and you don't really need that large a battery to do that so cheap car battery would be a good start and we got good speed out of this so definitely it should be able to uh, whatever i can get on the other side of the mountain it should be able to to put that to the house without any issues i do not expect to get more than 100 megabits in portugal but I wanted to be prepared for it because it's pointing at an antenna that might have 5G whenever. So um, I would need to change the 4G router up there to a 5G router, but well, then I wouldn't have to change this right away. So uh, thank you very much to my Patreon for sponsoring my videos and making me able to purchase weird stuff like this and showing it to you guys. And we did talk about this on Discord every Sunday night. I am on Discord with the patrons and I told them that I purchased this and then I was recommended that I should have bought Microtech and maybe if this doesn't work out, I'll have to look into more Microtech stuff. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.